Hey there, Board Game Maniacs, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Here's Negan for the Here's Negan Theme Month by Mantic Games. We are on episode three, Clearing House. We have to clear the house. Now, this is just like other, the map is a little larger. There's more walkers on the board. And on top of that, we have to deal with a locked door. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. We already seen what happens in between the game because we did shoot that on the last mission. But we'll just briefly go over it. We all got one rep, and Thomas is still bitten. And his, what is your stamina at? I'm at four. You're at four. I mean, and you had to roll four. off because of the bite mark, right? Yep. And Brady's stamina, what's yours at? Four. Four? And I'm at six. But we also have one reputation. All of our cards, our supply cards that we got last mission, has been taken away because we just scraped by and Negan was pretty bad. So, yeah, that's what happened. Anyhow. It says in the book that he admitted that we did a good job, but he takes our stuff anyway. He said that he's he's upset. And he beat me up. Shoulder. Yeah, he whacked you over the head with Lucille. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's go in for a closer look and let's start playing this game. See how we fare out this round. Mr. Cheeseburger. You can see that uh, on page 28, this here is scenario number three. Clearing house, and it's pretty simple. We have to follow, get Negan to follow along this path as close as possible, get him to the exit, and that is it. But as you can see in the very bottom right hand corner, the last tile has a locked door to go to. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anyhow, so you can see we are all set up and ready to go. Negan don't come on the board until round two, but he's just there barking out orders like usual. Cheeseburger Eddie is eating some cheeseburgers. Dwight is, you know, sharpening up his uh, his arrows. And Laura is, like, just wanting one of them cheeseburgers that Eddie is... He, he, he don't want to share. Nope. Nope, that's right. And if we look down here, there is the locked door right there. And we have a, a walker here that's already on the board. Token, I mean, walker token here. And a walker token here. And that is it. So we're going to start off the game, and it is none other than Brady, his first player. On the Dwight's turn, Brady, and Brady, what are you doing? Moving up to the door. To opening it. Opening it. You still got one more movement. I got two more. Oh, Dwight yeah, because you're four. four. So do you want to do this? Yeah. Or do you want to stay here? No, I'm going to go there. There? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to try to unlock or secure the room? No, I need to draw a room card. Oh shoot, that's right. So we gotta keep you here. My bad. And we gotta draw a room card, and in that room card we'll populate it. Ugh! We'll be back after we populate the room card. And there you can see because the, the card did say two supply tokens and you roll a blue and red die for walkers and Brady rolled four. He's always good at rolling walker stuff, isn't he, Thomas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when it comes to your turn or somebody else the benefit. <clears throat> yeah. It's like you're you're there for the walkers. Well, look at who the so. father is, who my father is. I don't know. You're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, okay, Brady. So you've I'm got moving, some walkers to tend to moving, with. I'm moving two back. You're going to move for the two rest back. Of my movement. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot with my last action. All right. So you're going to shoot the first walker here. Yeah. Okay. So what you get? Three. Three. Thomas, do you want to roll the defense of the walker? And they're just red? Yep, just red. Ah, it's Nothing. prone. Oh, so that walker is just gone prono. Okay. So that ends your turn, and then we are on to Cheeseburger Eddie's turn. Oh, Cheeseburger, what are you going to do here? Because Negan, well, he don't come on until... Why don't you move up and kill that zombie? Yeah, I think I'm going to. They're not zombies, they're walkers. That's two actions, and then the third one, our second action is, or two moves, to get up to the door, and then I get rid of this walker, and I go up one rep. That ends Cheeseburger Eddie's turn, and now it's on to Laura. What is Miss Laura doing? I'm trying to think if I want to move up. Can I shoot through? Yeah, you can shoot You can up. shoot through, yes. They're two to ten away, and I have line of sight. 
a blue and white. Yeah, a blue for your shoe oh, that's and right. a yep. white. That's right. Because I have the rifle. Okay. Three. Three. So somebody rolled the red die for the walker. And what? So it, prone it is. It creates noise though. Yep. So because it's noise, threat track goes up. These walkers tokens are going to move that so way. Move that way. No, because the door is there. There's a door over here though. Yeah. Okay. No, because this is blocked off. We're talking about oh, we're talking about this right here. There's a black line here, which means it signifies as the a tokens wall. Tokens only move one. Yeah, I did. It was here, right? No, it went over, was it? I can't remember. Anyhow, we're gonna put it there, regardless, because I can't remember. But that is it then. Now the walkers are gonna move too. Yes, the walkers are going to move. They move two spaces, but he's gonna move one. He's gonna move one. Um, I think that's it for movement wise, isn't it? Mm hmm. Everyone's over. So now, this is the walker phase. Mm. These guys are going to move up again. Awesome. So that one, that one moves up here. That one just moves over. This is blocked. No, that's fine. I'm just looking on the map to see where the door is. But the door actually, this is just, it comes this way and then goes up. Mm -hmm. So you moved him already? Yeah. All right. And the other one moved. And I think that's it for... And the walker's going to attack you. Do you draw an event card? No, no, no. Hold on a second. We're still the, on the noise. No, we just did the noise. That's right. the end of the, tur end of the noise. So now we do the event card. Event. Plus one to the threat track. So it goes up to threat level three. I'm thinking this game is going to be a pretty bad one. Roamers, place one walker token on each entry point up to and including the current threat level. Also we not. are an all clear, so we're good. Choose a survivor, place one walker token on the nearest unsecured token to them, even if the door is an open room. Okay, so you have to pick the one. You are first player. So we so, have to pick that one. So you pick a survivor. Cheeseburger ID, I guess. So cheeseburger ID, so you have to put it on the closest token, even if it's in an unsecured room. Put that over there behind that walker. Right here. Yeah. All right. And that is it. Okay. So that is the event part. And then we go on to walker token move. But we already did the walker token move. And the walkers move. They can't move anymore. And then the walkers are going to attack. So he's going to attack poor cheeseburger Eddie. So, somebody want to roll a red die? One. One. And Cheeseburger already got a defensive white. Two. He blocked. No problem. Cheeseburger just, he laughed it off. And now we are on to the Here Negan phase, but with Here Negan, he just jumps on the board. And that ends his turn, and we are on to the next round. Now, as just for tradition wise, I'm not going to set the trip, tripod up to this game, but when something big happens, We'll be back and we'll show what's going on. Before we go on to the next room, we forgot at the end phase, the threat track is going to go up because there's more unlock, unsecured rooms than what they are players. So the threat track goes up to four. And now also this prone walker may stand up. we got to roll black dot and a shield. He stands up. Oh, blank. Stays prone. You stay down. Stay down, I say. Okay, now it's on the cheeseburger at turn. On Brady's turn, or Dwight's turn, he ran, he got here, rolled for noise, not getting any noise. Cheeseburger Eddie killed the walker here, then walked out. And Laura came up here and killed the walker that was prone. And that's, that's it, so moved in that. So that ends all the turns for the heroes and Egan's there. He's anxiously waiting to get, get into the action a bit, whether if he clomps somebody over the head that's on his team, or kills a walker or ten of them, it don't really make a difference. But we are on to the event cards now. The event. Here, Thomas, you read that one. What was that? Choose a survivor. The closest walker token to that survivor immediately moves two spaces towards it and yeah, or towards it following the normal rules. Stopping if revealed. This is in addition to any regular movement this round. If there are no walker tokens 
uh, place one walker token on the nearest entry point to that survivor, even if the entry point is higher than the current threat oh, level. So no, oh, yep, so this one's going to move up. Because I thought there was a door here, but there's not. Because you can see there's a door here and a door here. I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, I'm just looking at Negan's path here. Yeah, that's probably the way it is. So anyhow... Yeah. So what else happens there, Thomas? So this it moves two. That it moves two spaces. Yeah, it moves two spaces. Okay, and then what is the last thing it says onto it on the card? Sorry. Uh, if there are no walker tokens, you place one to the nearest. If there are no, but no. Yeah, there was a token that we moved like that, so it doesn't. Okay, work. so nothing else happens there. Yep. All right, now first player gets passed to Thomas, More. and we're just gonna keep playing some. We are on to the Negan phase for this, and the card says, I'm sick of you, move two spaces. But now Negan's going to go, he was here, he'd go one, and he kind of does a sidestep into the room, but he can't because Laura's right there. So because of that, he stops where he is and becomes enraged, and we do the following, which is not a bad, not a good thing, I mean. Survivors with the highest rep lose blue dive reputation. I'm at three, I'm so... No. What do you have, Brady? One. Okay, so two. So I go down to one rep. Damn. Losing so much reputation. Alrighty. And survive within three spaces, lose it one, loses one stamina. Ouch. So that is going to be all of us. Hmm. It's not good. Um, if adjacent to walkers, remove blue die within three spaces, nope. but not adjacent to any walkers. If in an unsecured room, Lee be the shortest route. He is yeah. not in an unsecured room. And that is it for the Negan phase. So he's getting ticked off because we're kind of slowing him down when he just wants to push through into his route to go to the exit. On Brady's turn, he first off picked a supply card up and he got this one, which is called Supply Cash. It's an incident. Gain Budai reputation. And each survivor in the room restores red die. So Brady rolled and got nothing. You got two rep now because you got one rep, and then you didn't get any stamina. But Thomas boosted the stamina by one. And then it said to pick another card, and Brady did. And what card did you get, Brady? Master Keys. So that can be treated that unlock any locked door. Yep. So we, there's only one locked door. So I'm assuming you're going to save that just in case. Probably in case you can't get yeah, to it. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. And that ends Brady's turn, so we're continuing on playing. Cheeseburger Eddie moved into the room, and he's going to try to secure that now. He's got three white die, one die for himself, and one die for each of the ones that are assisting. Oh, yeah. oh I, look at the roll. Woo! So that means I go, because it's a security level two, I go up two rep, and Brady and Thomas go up one rep. I'm one of the here's Negan phase. Some unfortunate things happened. Negan was traveling into the room, but it was unsecured, so we come in rage. He got up here. A walker was here. He removed it. Um, cheeseburger ready last one die, one blue die rep, which he rolled one. And then the closest survivors in three space of Negan when he was here lose one stamina. So cheeseburger ready lost the stamina, and so did Dwight. And then he exited via the shortest route so it's this way so we went back where he was and that was the Negan phase and now we're on to the next round. On the Cheeseburger Eddie's turn and he's going to pick up a supply token first and the reason why because Cheeseburger Eddie needs some kind of weapon. No he wants more cheeseburgers. That will help him I was gonna say help him cook more cheeseburgers. Supply card and it is emergency supply special item discard this card to give yourself or an adjacent survivor a plus one action token. That can be handy. Mm -hmm. Now, he's going to try to secure this room. So I get two white die and I have to roll two or higher. Two white die, two or higher, please. Yeah. Oh, I got three. It is secure. You so get therefore, two rep? I get two rep, Dwight gets one rep. And we both and get one stamina. And the stretch rack goes down by one. Also, one of the previous turns we had Sanctuary where we put the supply tokens and the blue dye of walkers and everything. So once this room is secure, whoever's in this room gets up one stamina. So both Dwight and Cheeseburger Eddie goes up one stamina. Nice. Continuing on with the turns, Negan is still here because on the last here Negan phase, he drew one, which is Negan does that move and he becomes enraged no matter who is around him. 
So we suffered a little bit of damage that way. Now, on Dwight's turn here, um, actually before I talk about Dwight, one thing that we kind of skipped over, I don't know why, is every time somebody holds an Earth successfully, they gain one reputation. So last game we were holding our nerve a lot we should have been a lot high reputation but you know sorry so sad so from and this Dwight point on probably wouldn't have gotten beaten the pulp out of yeah this point on <clears throat> we're going to be doing it properly for that way so apologize for that but now we'll talk about Dwight Dwight moved up he opened the door and now he's going to use his wrench that he picked up for the supply card that was in here and he rolls a red and white to try to do something to that walker. Get a headshot? Three, no headshot. No, okay, so red die for the walker. No, it's nothing. prone. So it is prone. But at least no Better walkers can move through there. That's right, because it's blocked. Actually, no, no, no. Walkers can move, but yes, they... Yes, but I'm stuck there. I'm stopping them yeah, from moving they can further. Move they can't through, stop. But speed. they have a movement of two, but they can't stop on exactly, another. Exactly, so they right, can't so move they're through. Stuck. I was trying to explain that on camera. No, you can't. Stop burning me on camera, Brady. Brady, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. 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 For Cheeseburger Eddie's second turn, he's going to call Negan. So first, I gotta roll a blue die for that amount of reputation to lose. I lose two rep, so I'm down to three for my rep. And now, because I call Negan, Negan is going to go. You can move him three spaces. One, two, three. And now he's gonna roll a blue die and any walkers that are within three spaces of Negan is gonna get removed as long as I roll two. So this one is gone. And do the one to the right. That one there? Yeah, do him. I'm because as soon as he comes out, he's going to go down. So oh, so he in, avoids that he one. Be in his way. Uh, nice. So yeah, because we're following his path. That's, that's smart thinking there. So that is the second turn, or the second action for Cheeseburger Eddie. We're going to keep playing and see what happens. See, we're starting to think a lot more clever here. We're being more clever. We are now on to Laura's turn, a.k.a. Thomas, a.k.a. Laura. So what are you doing there, Laura Thomas, Laura? All right, so I'm going to call Negan. Want that witch cost me reputation. Yep, so, so blue dog of rep. Two. Two rep. So I'm down to two. And then I'm going to call him back just one space, just still in line of sight and within three spaces of the walker. So yep. three. we get rid of we get rid of him. Yeah, that but that's there. good though. So now he is clear and his path is open. Yep. Which is good. That would that was really good. So that was only your first action. You gonna hold your nerve for your second action? Yep. Yeah, yeah. you did. So because they're on the four and you go up one point of reputation. reputation. Sweet. Okay, we'll continue on. On the Dwight's turn, because Negan got the hair luckily, but then Dwight, he ran for hair, and unfortunately he created noise now, so the noise track goes back up to one by one, and all of the walker tokens move, and also the zombie walker will move too as well. And that that's it. So now... That was your first action, Brady. Are you going to try to... I'm going to stabby stabby. I think it's probably a good idea. Would you on. get a headshot? Yep. No! Oh, you rolled a headshot, didn't you? Why? It's not prone, at least. Yeah, it's prone. Prone, prone, prone. prone. At least you can use your plus one action, so you could probably get in there, kill yeah. that walker, and then secure. Okay, so we're continuing on... Now, actually, I'm going to keep rolling because it is Cheeseburger Eddie's turn. Are you going to discard that card to give you plus one action? Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to, but I have to run first. So I'm going to Don't get in that room. Don't you beginning of your turn to discard that card? Discard, discard to give yourself a plus one. No. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so. One. Hold on a second. You can shoot. Hold on a second. I ran. I have to see if I created noise. Cheeseburger Eddie's really good at uh, dropping the threat level, but that means he gets a lot of shields all the time. No, don't create noise. He's lucky. All right, so that was the first action. Second action is I'm going to just wipe out that. So I go up one rep. And on top of that, I am going to sell my emergency supply to get a plus one action, which I'm going to do now. 
because I'm going to try to secure that room so I get two white die. You're gonna be in the path of Negan. And we are at two. Okay. Why do you have to say them things, Brady? I know. Oh, well, he's gonna be enraged, but oh well. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, so, that doesn't become secured. No, uh, th th uh, I. <laughs> I'm not even saying anything. And yeah, we're continuing on with the game. This really sucks. Because of Cheeseburger Eddie's really bad <laughs> judgment well, call. Shit, that's me. Thank you. Um, Negan became enraged. We all lose one stamina. Plus, Cheeseburger Eddie has lost some reputation too as well. And then we're back on to the next round. And it is none other than Dwight's, Dwight's turn. So what are you doing for your first action? I'm securing or depending to secure. Gonna try room. to yeah, that's a good idea. You need to pile them two. Yep. Yeah, you got yeah. It. Yes. So you go up yeah, two reputation. And I go up one. The it becomes secured. Did you reduce the threat? The yeah, threat track gets down, down, down by one. And then yeah. I have another another action. action, which I think what I'm going to do is go one two three to block that. That's a good call because. I don't know if I said this in any of the other ones, but if a, a character or survivor is standing on an entry point, that is blocked and no uh, walkers can be spawned onto them. So anyway, we're gonna continue on here now. Cheeseburger Eddie, I'm one of Cheeseburger Eddie's turn, I should say. He's going to go one, two, three. And now, that was one of his actions. The second action would be, you know, to hopefully try to take out this walker. And the reason why I want to try to take out these walkers is we have a reminder card right here and it says Wild Up Walkers. Any walker in this room adds a red die to the attack rolls. Not defense, just attack. But Cheeseburger Eddie, because he picked up a supply token in a couple of turns ago, he has Angle Grinder. Discard this card as a fight action instead of using an equipped weapon. Remove blue die of adjacent walkers from play. So he's just starting up his... Uh, I guess it'd be a gas-powered angle grinder because he wouldn't have time to go and plug it into a wall. Well, I mean, maybe he has a portable battery pack on him. Yeah, or, or battery pack, but they're not as strong as the gas. Anyhow, so now i got to roll this. Watch me get one. Three! Three. So the two ah. of them are dead. You I go up. Two reputation. Two reputation like that. And it's like, me, 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 boom. And that's it. That Them walkers didn't have a chance against this angle grinder. Thank you. Let's continue on. On Thomas' turn, Laura moved up, grabbed the supply token, and he picked up a Lurker card. Lose red die stamina and add plus one to the threat and then discard this card. That is bad. Because I know in the Walking Dead All of War, they have them cards which are Lurkers. Oh, so Thomas, you got to roll a red die and lose that much stamina. Once stamina is lost, threat track goes up to one, and then you discard the card. Oh, that sucks. On Dwight's turn, Brady moved up to here and then he was going to try to secure the room. Now if he secures this room, Laura's going to get a rep, Cheeseburger is going to get a rep, and I'm gonna get Dwight's going to get two reps. So you got to get a score of two or higher on three white dice. Yep, you yeah, got to go for it. I got definitely one up. Uh, uh, nice. Uh, All right. Count goes down. So that is secured. Rep for me, rep for Thomas, and two for Brady. Good job, Brady. So that's your two actions, and we're going to continue on. Actually, I'm still rolling. Let's do the event phase while I am rolling, because I never did that for a while. So Thomas got his hand out. Go ahead, Thomas. Bitter rivals. Choose a survivor. They must choose another survivor in their line of sight. That survivor must either lose white die reputation, only if they have at least one to lose, or... Take a minus one action token and give the original survivor a plus one action token. Uh, so who's duking it out? Come on. Are we playing rock, paper, scissors here? I am... Yeah, let's do rock, uh, paper, scissors. I'm first player, so I don't want any part of this. So it's between you, the two of you. So just put your hands here. Come put on, rock, paper, there. scissors. Ready? Best two out of rock, three. Pa rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I can't. Okay, are we doing rock, again. paper, scissors, well, shoot? Well, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, well, I'll say three. One, two, and on three, do your hand. All right. Okay, All right, put your hands best two out of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, one? <laughs> now okay. we do it again. I said best two out of three. Who said best two out of three? I did. I'm, I said I'm before we player. even did it. I'm the first player. Okay, one more time. Go ahead. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so Brady, it's going to be you. So what does what happens here? I okay, lose so white die rep. He either loses one white die rep like that, or I take an action. And I lose. Whoops. Or you get a minus one action. <coughs> I'm losing white die rep. Okay. Nothing. None. Ah, nice. So therefore, so it nobody gets anything. a plus or minus to their actions. Yeah. That would have been better, but oh well. I know, so that was the event card. We're going to continue on here now. You don't have to raise the threat level. <laughs> yeah, we're in the end phase, and we were just going through the end phases where if there's fewer survivors in what they are secured rooms, then threat level will go up, which we've been raising up and dropping it down, raising up and dropping it down. But this is the first time ever that I can remember, because we have one secured, two secured, three secured, four secured, and there's three survivors in Negan, so guess what? We don't have to raise it up anymore because we're doing our job. Negan's going to be happy, but even though a rep is still kind of questionable. But anyhow, let's continue on and beat this game. Hopefully. Yeah. On Dwight's turn, he opened the door, drew a room card, and fire, fire. There's two fire tokens in that room. So there's a couple of stuff about fire that we never encountered yet. So just to talk about it is just... um. Now, on the end phase, you, you can roll to see if you can get rid of it, and if no, you roll... It's an action. Uh, for our action, we have oh. to roll a black die uh, to get... To extinguish it, and on a shield, it will extinguish Yes, extinguish. Roll black die, uh, shield, remove ad adjacent fire token. That means only one. Okay, so that counts as an action for yeah, a player. Yeah, it counts as an action for a player. And then there's um, something in the end at phase, At the end said. phase, like that... For every three spaces around, if there is a survivor, um, they take or on a shield or on a black die roll like that. If they encounter a shield like that, they lose one stamina. One stamina. If there's any walkers within three spaces like that, they are wiped out and removed. So the walkers pretty much are burnt to a crisp, yep. and then we're taking fire damage. Exactly. Ooh, it's the first time we encountered fire. This is exciting. So we're gonna keep continuing on here because Dwight is getting a little hot under the collar. That's why he's got no sleeves. He never had any sleeves. Because of the fire. He's preparing. Oh, yeah. Dwight's neck action. Next action, because he has two actions, he's going to try to put out one of the fire tokens. Black die, you got to get a shield, Brady. Burn, baby, burn. Ah, uh -huh. oh, so the fire still burns. Really awesome. On Cheeseburger Eddie's turn, he went into the room and he managed to put out one of the fire tokens. And on Laura's turn, went in the room and put out another fire token. Because Laura ran, didn't create noise luckily though, So and the big guy's right here waiting. So he may become enraged if he has to move more than two spaces because Laura's going to be blocking his pathway. We will see when we get to his phase. On to the Negan phase for this part. Hopefully he's not going to be enraged. We just draw the card and it says don't stay in one place. Move two spaces, so Brady moving two spaces. So he's That's totally just... a great Negan impression. Do it again. Uh, if Negan was like a, a Chewbacca in Pubes in a, before he hits puberty. Oh Lord. Die, you zombie! And then it says all survivors may immediately move one space. That's that's pretty handy. We should all move in the one space forward the exact same way, so then we're all like. Oh, you're going to be in his way soon. Oh, am you I? You may not want to move. You have to. He move. has to come oh, yeah, across. Your name. Oh, out. it says all survivors may. So yeah, I'm not gonna move. Because his is going to be here and then here. So yeah, the we'll lovers. just stay like that. They're dreamers. But the thing is, is we still have to do our turn next before Negan goes again. Because this is his turn now, and that's all it says in the card. Mm -hmm. So even if I move up one, I'm not going to be in the way. Hypothetically. No, but you don't want to be in the way because when it comes around to your turn, you may want to do something else instead of having to move. Yeah, because I'm first player next. Yeah. And I need to... Get to that door. That's a locked we need door. To secure the room first. Oh shoot! Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stay there. I'm choosing not to move. And that was Negan's turn. Luckily, nothing else happened. Oh, now we're just gonna move on. Now it's my turn. One of the previous rounds, we didn't record for this part, but it did say that you had to flip an air unsecured token over. So therefore, it was this one. That get flipped over because this originally was secured. It got flipped to unsecured. So which means there's three from the four. So every time we're on the end phase, the threat track is going to raise again unless we secure this room now. Just to recap on to what happened here. So 
There was a walker, he moved up and he attacked Cheeseburger Eddie, but Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger Eddie managed to throw a cheeseburger and hit the walker in the face, which blinded him from his swing so he didn't touch Cheeseburger Eddie. Then Negan went up, he became enraged, unfortunately, so we all lost stamina. And then it rolled a blue die because the walker was there, so that walker is gone because Negan took care of it, but he's ticked off a little bit. And that ends the, the Negan phase, and unfortunately now we are going on and but we are close there's no walker read here so within two or three turns hopefully unless cards will screw us we should finish this this round oh and by the way brady lost blue dive reputation so we lost two yeah and we are continuing on now can anybody remember when i said that a card will screw us well guess what a card kind of screwed us because the event told us to put uh, Walker within three spaces of Negan because Negan was originally back here. And then it, nothing else happened except for he fought Laura, but Laura managed to fend off this Walker wearing the nightgown. Rifle butt to the face. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. Well, I mean, the back of so the then rifle is for the For Negan's turn, it said, let Lucille protect you. Move two spaces, which Negan moved up to there. And it says, reduce the threat level by a red die. Brady rolled it and got blank. And then Negan removes blue dies of walker within three spaces of play, but there's no walkers just outside the line before. So that ends Negan's phase. But you can tell that we're getting pretty darn close. Hopefully we're going to just keep building up here. Another card kind of messes up a bit because you can see we had to flip the closest room to unsecure. But luckily Negan was out of this. Now... It's on the Thomas's turn, and Thomas has a card you want to use? Yeah, it's called Toolkit. It's a special item. So this survivor may add red die to any secure roll. So I'm going to try and secure that room again. Why would you do that? You only need one to secure the room. But it's just but better I only have chances. one die. Right. So it betters my chances yep. at this point, and why? Because we're right near the end. Gets two blanks. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> so. It would be my luck that way, though, but so it's it not. So it is secured, and you go up one. No. One yeah, record, one. Because you secured it. Oh, that's right. Because we're only... You up more. Yeah, no, because the, you're only the on level, one. We're still in the all clear uh, now because we've been working along. Now, because of that, though, that's four. We don't have to worry about the threat track going up anymore. Mm -hmm. So that was your first action? Yep, second action. Rest? Actually, I don't need to rest. Like that. Just, uh, we're at two nerve. for threat level, so... No, nope. nope. All right, so we'll continue on. You can see we're very close here. Unless Negan gets something to gallivant and Brady don't move, and then it's, he's going to be enraged. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Hopefully. We are on to the next round now, and it is on to Dwight's turn. Now, you can see we kind of moved up, but that was because uh, the Negan card said PP Pant City. Move three spaces. Survivors within five or survivors with five or less reputation lose one stamina, but all of us is above five for a change. Survivors with six or more reputation, which you all are, choose can choose to immediately move blue die spaces, and we did that. So we're here, here, and Negan is there, and now it is on to Dwight's turn. So what is Dwight doing there, Brady? Clear the way. And what is clear the way again? Move Negan three spaces towards the path. Whoa! And Negan got on the exit. That means... No, he's all the way back here. Okay. Ding goes on the exit. That means... Whoa. We made it! Negan made it! Woo! We win! We did. Negan yeah. successfully survived. Brady, you don't sound very excited. Yeah. I was, I was planning on Negan to die. Anyhow. So, I we, we beat... Mission number three, or quest number three, whatever you want to call it, but it's number three, and we did win. But now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go through the paperwork and everything to see what happens. Whew! All right. So what that means is we're going to have to tally up a reputation out of all three of us, and we get 32 reputation in total. Yep. So what does that tell us, Thomas, in the book? All right. So after we win, with that, we have to count all the points. So our survivors, like that, we started off with three. So for a solid victory, like that, our point count has to be between 25 to 44. So we got a solid victory, and awesome. solid victory quote here is not perfect, but you've shown some promise. Negan knows your names now. He might even let you hold Lucille for a while, as long as you treat her like a lady. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so there's a couple other things that we have to do here as well. 
We just did all the score telling and Thomas read in the book and everything. So, having said that, um, we're going to start the next episode with one reputation each. Brady gets to keep his supply card, which is the wrench. Unfortunately, Thomas and I didn't get any other supply cards so, that we could keep because they were all consumable and we did consume yeah. them beforehand. But this round goes to Brady. He is the top dog because he got the most reputation. And that means that he's going to start next game with, uh, it's kind of a sh in shadow there, but there you go, Brady. That's a plus one action for you starting next game. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Good thumbnail right there. Thanks, Brady. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is a lot of fun. We Negan never even got touched this time. No, I and didn't. We, we're playing it smart. Yeah, we are starting to play a lot smarter because we're learning the rules more. Are you going on the river six or something, Brady? No, I just I want to look cool with my cool new shoes. Mm, right. Like now another yeah. thing that you do in between games is you have to keep track of the reputation that each one of your characters has because when we're finished the campaign then whoever has the highest rep is going to be classified as the top dog and that means that Negan is holding him in favor and he'll be able to hold and maybe swing Lucille who knows hope you enjoyed this I I'm starting to enjoy it more since we're going through the rules more. What about yourself there, Thomas? No, I'm liking it a lot more too like that. It's a lot more fun understanding the basis of the game and how we can move Negan around and have him help us like that instead of having him hinder us. And even if he does sometimes get enraged like that, sometimes it actually has helped us a little bit as well. Yeah. So. What about you, Brady? Are you enjoying the game anymore? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything right now, but... Other than that, it was okay. But are you enjoying the game more? Nah, still the same. Still the same. All right, I'm enjoying the game more. It's a lot more fun. So if you want to, please comment down below and let us know what you thought of this game and your experience in playing Here's Negan, Negan. Here's Negan by Mantic Games. And until next time, Board Game Mag, don't forget to click on the subscribe and bell notification to get notified when other videos become available. And if you want to find our Patreon link or anything, it's going to be in the description below. Until then, Board Game Maniacs. Until then. And that is... Don't stink like my father. No, that is... Be a maniac! No, my eye! Ooh, see ya. Don't stink like my father, because he's saying... Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, board game maniacs, be a maniac.